Thanks, Lauren. After surviving breast cancer, one group of Western New York women have been leading healthy lifestyles together through Hope Chess Dragon Boat Racing. We've told you about them on Wing It before, but today they join us right before their next big adventure to join other breast cancer survivors from around the world in the first ever International Breast Cancer cancer dragon boat festival in the united states now i have to say i've spoken to you ladies twice before this is yes. the first time we haven't been in a boat <laughs> yeah right <laughs> so and we're gonna start with you and kissed of course we have and kissed uh deb hunt and doreen fahey but and i want to start with you for the people that haven't seen those past two segments give me a little bit of information about hope chest buffalo and what dragon boat racing is okay hope chest buffalo was started in the year 2000 and it is actually developed into a wellness program for breast cancer survivors throughout Western New York. We offer free exercise classes four times a week throughout the winter months and we offer uh, once a month we have a nutrition class that we offer. Then in the summer months, May through October, this year it's been October, <laughs> uh, we put our dragon boats in the water and we paddle and we go to uh, festivals in Canada and the East Coast and we also have our own festival here in Buffalo. And Deb, as a breast cancer survivor, what does it mean for you to have a group of women like the Hope Chest Buffalo Dragon, Racing, Dragon Boat Racing Team that focuses on something that's so positive and such a, a great addition to your it life? It is so positive. There's a, it's a silver lining to having breast cancer in Western New York. The Hope Chest is such an amazing, supportive group, and we share our stories and we support each other. It's, it's an amazing group. And that supportive group, you get a sense of any time that I've stopped down to talk to you ladies. Now you're getting ready for a very exciting next big adventure, like we said, the first International Breast Cancer Dragon Boat Racing Festival in the United States. Doreen, tell me about what you're doing to get ready for this. Oh, it's no sleep. <laughs> We're too excited. Um, there's over 102 teams, all breast cancer survivors from around the world. So just the thought of that is just incredible. I mean, we're so blessed and fortunate that we have this opportunity to do this. It's just amazing. And the festival takes place at an incredibly elite place, venue, and it seems like this is a group of people that do something that's great for their life, but it's almost like you're all professional dragon boat racers. Is that the sense? Oh, we like to think that. <laughs> is that the sense, though? Is that, is that what level you're at when you're doing something like this? At a professional level? Well, I suppose it's, it's, it's as close as you're going to get anyway. Um, we're still first in our lane. So, you know, we'll have to see about being, how far we're going to go as far as winning the race or um, taking medals home, that kind of a thing. But last time I spoke to you, we did talk about winning, and you said every single time that you come back from a race, no matter what place you come into, you've won. All right, that's terrific. And yeah, what is it like have. seeing all of these breast cancer survivors and their supporters? There's going to be thousands of people at this festival. What is that like for you guys? It'll just be overwhelming, actually. Um, we've never been to anything like this before. We were at a Philly race this past um, few weeks ago, and there were 158 teams. But this will be incredibly huge. And again, they're all survivors. And uh, we're all going to have pink shirts on on Friday night and they're going to take a picture from above. And I'm sure it will just be a huge sea of pink. Sea of pink. Oh, and make sure that you send us that picture because oh, yeah. we'd love to share that on our social media. Now sure. for breast cancer survivors out there or people that are going through the process of dealing with breast cancer, what do you think your story and maybe even widen that out to that this festival is taking place, taking place means to them? Well, it's just, you know, um, we're all survivors. We're all somewhat in the same boat. Um, literally and figuratively. <laughs> literally and figuratively. <laughs> and, um, you know, you either decide whether you're going to, you know, be positive about your life and, and change it around or just do, you want to do something a little more healthy for yourself. Um, you want to be with positive people. Um, and like Deb said, it is a silver lining. Unfortunately, nobody wants breast cancer, but if you get it, this is the place you want to be. And you're leaving tomorrow, so yes. do you still have a lot to plan for? Do you, is packing all done? Is everything taken care of? 
I'm all packed. Well, I'm not. We uh, <laughs> printed out the boarding yeah. pass this morning, so yeah. we're excited. Well, I would wish you good luck, but it, luck has nothing to do with it. I've been in the boat with you ladies twice so far. You are a boatload, literally, of <laughs> strong, amazing women. And thank you so much for joining us on Winging It Goes Pink. It's always great to sit down and talk to you. But right now, we're going to change gears a little bit. We're going to cross our fingers for you, and we're going to send it over to Lauren.